Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all super well. This is a video that I know you guys have been waiting a long time for. Uh, yeah, my garden was kind of semi-finished about four weeks ago and I would have loved to have shared it with you guys then. However, it just wasn't quite ready. I still needed to decorate. I needed to put some plants into the plant beds. I needed, yeah. Basically, I just needed to jazz it up a bit before I showed you guys the finished garden and the big reveal. Uh, please excuse my face. Honestly, it is so hot here in the UK at the moment. I'm literally sweating. I've tried to put on so much powder, so <laughs> yeah, excuse the sweatiness. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited today to show the garden to you. I'm going to take you around. I'm going to talk you through where everything's from the reasons behind it, the inspiration, and yeah, I'm so, I'm so excited. So, let's get going. So the first part of the garden is this little chill out area just by our bifold doors as you come out of the kitchen. Um, I love it, it's super nice. It's just a space where we can kind of have the bifolds open when we've got guests around, we can dine, we can have some drinks in this little chill out area. Um, yeah, and it's themed kind of all black with a hint of pink from the rug from Benuta. Um, I wanted to continue the kitchen color theme outside because obviously the bifold doors open you're kind of letting the outside in so i kind of wanted it to flow and work all together so that's kind of why i worked with the outdoor space and themed it black pink and white and then obviously you've got the greens from the astroturf and our plants so yeah all this furniture i got from made.com they've got some amazing piece of garden furniture i think this is from their range called swara s-w-a-r-a and they had they actually even had like um dining chairs and i think they even had like a little dining table set which is really, really cute but i've got the mini sofa so that fits about two people on really comfortably you could probably squeeze three of you on there and then i've got these two armchairs which are really really nice and they came with these really comfy cushion pads and then i just got these cushions from Amazon actually. I found these little kind of like boho Moroccan inspired cushions from Amazon. Really, really affordable. And I really liked it because it is the black and white theme, which I've got out here. So yeah, I've got those. And then I just decorated the coffee table with these cute little lanterns, which I also got from Amazon. Um, hello baby. And then, yeah, that's it really down here. The rug is really, really good. So I can't remember what it's actually made out of, but it's specifically for outdoor and it cleans really, really well considering I've got little doggies, little fur babies. Um, yeah, I feel like that's about it for this little area. It's just really chilled, a nice social space. And obviously I wanted to kind of utilize the little patio area that we've got just in front of the bifold doors because we've got a bit of a step up to the garden, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, so yeah, so I just thought it was nice to kind of put some like sofa kind of style seating furniture down here um yeah and it's been really nice we've, we've had a few guests over just to sit down here and also I have to say like this spot gets is in the shade to start the day but in the evening it is beautiful the sun shines from like four five until about seven or eight and also our dining table gets the sun as well so yeah it's a really really nice space to just sit and have a drink and wind down at, at, in the evening with a nice cocktail or something um but yeah i'll pop links below to all of the furniture so you can check it out if you want to take a look and yeah let's move on to the next part of the garden <music> the next part of the garden is a, just a step up from the patio area by the kitchen and we have our hot tub so this is super exciting we i don't know we, we wanted a hot tub for so long it's like the garden goal and um yeah we kind of 
spent a while searching for a hot tub and we actually went to a local garden centre where we put a deposit down um, to buy one. But he said it was going to take three weeks to come. However, it transpired that it was going to take three months. So we actually cancelled that order, ended up ringing around every single UK hot tub company we could think of and find on Google. And then we ended up finding the same hot tub, but just in a different colour. Um, yeah, and it was delivered within like three days. It was insane. So yeah, we're so glad we found this one. This is the Crown 2 hot tub i'll pop a link below for any of you who are interested i really like the fact that it was round just because it looks a bit different to the typical hot tub that you normally get with like all the kind of like the lounge seats and the jets it's still got jets but it's more of like a sports hydrotherapy hot tub which is really great for me and robin because we're working out a lot now and um, yeah we just kind of we wanted to put it in the sun in the best point of the garden just because we just thought it'd be really nice on those kind of spring autumn days where it's like really sunny but it's a bit chilly we can just jump in the hot tub or after a workout or yeah even in winter as well like this is an all year round hot tub so we can get in it on christmas day which i definitely intend to do um but yeah really really happy that we made that purchase we've literally been in it every day since we bought it um, so we're definitely getting our money's worth out of it but yeah it's, it's an investment but uh, we're super happy that we got one and also i love the color like the original color that we we originally bought was like a terracotta like kind of it matched the brickwork of the house so we thought oh that's nice because it will like tie it all in together but then the one we eventually bought was charcoal and i was a bit oh i'm not sure about this this like is the color going to work but it actually works really, really well because it matches all like the patio slabs that we've got. Um, so we put it on top of brick paving and um, that's because it just needs a really good solid base to house a hot tub, just obviously because of the weight. Um, yeah, and then we've got, we got it all wired in so it's linked up to our electricity box at the front of the house. So we had all the wiring all done by electricians and yeah, we're super happy with it. It looks great and um we love it so on to the main part of the garden which is like the ground grass area um we just wanted a nice open space in like the center of the garden so it's quite busy at the start of the garden and then it, we've got the hot tub area and then it just opens up to a really nice amount of lawn for the dogs to just go berserking and run around and then we get to the pergola area which I know you're probably all waiting for uh, but yeah so for the main part of the garden we literally went for astroturf um, which I know you guys probably will say you've got astroturf and you have dogs and I know I did my research and honestly it doesn't get that hot I could walk on it myself without any shoes and socks on and the dogs they actually love it like they love sunbathing on it they love playing on it like the first time we got it they just went absolutely mental they were play fighting and it was so lovely to watch so i'm actually really happy that i opted for it because the dogs do genuinely love it and um it's just for us it's low maintenance um we're not into our gardening obviously i've got a super busy work schedule so i don't really have time to do gardening i also don't want to pay for a gardener so for us it just worked and each to their own like if someone else wants to get turf great if someone else wants to get asher turf great obviously everyone's entitled to their own opinions uh, but yeah that's why we went for it and it just works for us and it works for our dogs um, so up the center of the garden we got a pathway so it kind of replicated the old garden also if you want to see the first part of the garden vlog then i'll pop a link below to part one where i showed like the complete renovation of the garden um but yes we've got a pathway up the center um i think they're called indian sandstones which is the uh, paving slabs um i really like the color it's kind of like a bluey gray it just really works with the garden and we haven't actually sealed it yet but you can get a seal which is wet look so it makes it kind of look a bit like shiny wet and also it deepens the color so hopefully it will go a bit more of a dark gray at the moment it's quite light but it will darken when we seal it when we get round to it um but yeah and then yeah so the walkway up the center goes to the pergola um, i just think it's a really nice touch and also it meant that when you order astroturf it comes on rolls and it meant that we could get a roll of two meter width either either side of the walkway and we wouldn't have had to 
have um, like lines in the AstroTurf where you have to peg it in. So it meant that we've actually just got two big strips of AstroTurf and we haven't had to join any together. So in the long run, it's, it's better. Um, and then the plant beds. So I knew I wanted plants and to make the garden kind of, I don't know, I think it just works having planters on either side. So we've got sleepers put in, which we painted black to match the fence. So yeah, the fence we painted black, we used Ron Sill Tudor Black Oak, which was absolutely insane to get hold of. Um, I think we actually ended up driving, we drove like 45 minutes to this place to get the last three paint pots of Ron Sill Tudor Black Oak because we were literally running out. We were like, we need to finish painting our fence and the pergola, like we used a hell of a lot of paint. Um, we've actually still got some left over, but it's good because the sun, I think, tends to bleach black fence, fence paint. Um, so we've got some extra. Um, but yes, yeah, so we had painted the sleepers and then the plant bed. So one is a bit bigger on one side than the other. They're not symmetrical, but the garden really isn't symmetrical. Um, and one's kind of houses are really big plants. We've got like a palm tree plant. We've got some corder lines. Um, learning my plant names and then I topped off the plant beds with these beautiful pebble white stones like really big chunky stones I love it I feel like it looks very kind of holiday Ibiza vibes um, so the other plant bed is, is a little bit skinnier and we've kind of housed much smaller plants there again with a kind of a tropical kind of feel um, I won't be able to say the names of the plants because I've got them written down in a notebook. I'm really bad at gardening. I'm new to all of this. We've never really had plants before. Um, but yeah, I love it. I love the space. I think it really, really works. And it's just a really nice big area for activities. Um, also, sun lounges. That is the best spot in the whole entire garden for the sun. The sun shines on that bit. From when the sun rises till, well, the sun's not on it right now. So probably till about four four half four i reckon so if you want to tan that is your spot that is where you're going to be all day long so i just got two sun lounges one for me and robin and i got them i can't remember where i got them from but i will pop a link below they're only 100 pound each and i haven't actually got a cover for them yet i was going to but i feel like i might leave it because i've actually survived the rain but for the may.com furniture down the bottom of the garden i have got covers for it just to protect it and that way i don't have to put away the um sofa pads all the cushions they just stay underneath the covers um to protect it from the rain because it rains here in the uk a lot um but yeah i love it it's such a big space like before it was insane how like kind of covered and sheltered the garden was like it felt so cramped because there was just trees and bushes either side like i actually didn't realize the garden was this wide um but yeah we've made it into a really nice space and the dogs absolutely love it Let's move on to the pergola because I know you're all dying to see it. So guys, this is a space that I think you've all been waiting to see. This is the pergola and it kind of acts like, it's kind of a bit like a conservatory if any of you guys know what that is. I don't know if it's the same thing like in America and other places, but it's basically like a sunroom. Um, it's got a roof on top. It gets absolutely boiling in the day, but it's so cozy at night. And it's basically just an extra space, kind of away from the house that feels like an, like another room. Um, and we call it our party pergola um, because it's just a space where we've made kind of really social. We've got a bar, we've got a seating area, we've got a projector up there. Um, yeah, I feel like it's just a nice space to, to go and chill when we've got guests coming around. We can watch a movie, we can have a cocktail. Um, yeah, like, I just think it's a really, really nice space. There's just something about being outside that is just really cool. Like, it feels like you're abroad. I don't know, I feel like I get holiday vibes in our garden, like Ibiza vibes, and I love it. Um, yeah, so this space before was actually kind of just a flat level, really. It was just all concrete, and basically, I don't know whether you can see, but the back wall of the pergola is actually our garage. So the garage is at the end of our garden and it was a space where we just used for storage, which we still do, um, but we kind of just wanted to make it look a little bit prettier because as you can probably see in the old photos, um, it just wasn't very eye-catching. 
um, and it just wasn't really doing anything like it just looked a bit dead at the end of the garden um, so we just wanted to jazz it up and utilize it so we actually got the pergola built off of the garage and then we've used the side of the garage as the back wall of the pergola to disguise it so you wouldn't really necessarily know that it's there um, and it just makes it look a bit prettier now um, that we've kind of dressed it up and uh, yeah I feel like we should head in and get a little bit of a closer look <laughs> So guys, we are now in the pergola and behind me I have the bar area. So this was an idea that I had from the start. I knew kind of in the pergola space, I mean originally I wanted a bar area, a dining area and a seating area. However, even the fact that pergola is so big, we can actually house everything that I wanted. So I had to kind of rework my idea and because we have the dining table in the kitchen and obviously we can open up the bifold doors I just thought is there any point in buying a massive dining table because the garden kind of dining sets are really expensive and we've already got a beautiful dining table and area and the fact that that area is in the sunshine when you go to eat your dinner so I just thought you know what let's just have the pergola as like an area to kind of drink cocktails and socialize with guests and kind of sit and have a bit of a you know movie night or whatever so that's kind of what the space is up here and so behind me is the bar area i didn't want anything too like kind of classic bar like um i wanted something a bit quirky i also wanted something just a bit simple like i all we wanted was just a kind of just a small bar and we wanted a mini fridge and like a shelf or something and like that was as far as it was going to go like we don't we we didn't plan to have like i've seen a lot of bars on instagram and pinterest and they're really extravagant like you've got the beer kegs and the pumps and like the spirit led like mix of things and yeah we didn't want anything like that we just wanted something super simple um hence why we've got this kind of rectangle bar i think it's about how big is it i think it's 1.6 meters wide by like 70 centimeters in depth so it's quite small uh, but it's a nice size and it fits really well in the pergola like we can walk behind it around it like it doesn't take up too much space and then i had the idea of putting in these swings so i don't know if you guys have seen like bars abroad where they've got loads of swings sat at the bar so like and you sit on a swing at the bar and have a cocktail i just loved it i thought it was so cute such a cute idea very barley kind of mexico ibiza vibes and I just thought it was a really fun idea to have in our garden. And also they act as an extra chair for someone to sit. So we can actually sit comfortably 10 people in the pergola, which is a really decent sized group of people because that's kind of, well, before lockdown, obviously you can only have six at the moment in gardens. But before lockdown, um, we'd normally have about eight max people come over at once. So it was like the perfect amount of people to house in the pergola to be all sat down. Um, and yeah, so behind the bar we've got a mini fridge, which I ordered online, I'll pop a link below, it's really, really handy. Um, so we just stock lots of different drinks, we've got water, we've got Diet Coke, we've got cider, lots of different beverages. We've got a bit of everything for when people come over. Um, and it's nice because we don't have to run back to the kitchen and grab a drink or anything, like everything's already up here. And we've got a couple of like utensils, like bottle openers and things like that behind there. As you can see, um, it's a little bit messy, so sorry about that, we're not very tidy behind there, but we hide the mess away. Uh, but yeah, so it's super handy, so we've got electricity up here. So that's another thing that I really wanted because I knew I wanted lights up here. I wanted a projector for movie nights. Um, obviously up here as well, like hoovering, um, hoovering the floor and stuff. Um, but yeah, so the bar area is, is a thing that we loved and it's just made out of wood. Our builder made it out of timber. We painted it, we got paint uh, color matched to the floor tiles in B&Q at Valspa. And then me and Robin just painted it and then we added the faux plants and flowers i literally just stapled them on there were some that i had from my sister's engagement party and i ordered a couple more online and i just kind of yeah just like mixed them all together 
and stapled it all and I really like it, it kind of looks like a wedding bar um, but I kind of wanted that kind of quirky um, Instagram vibe um, yeah and then behind the bar as you can see hanging up we have these beautiful handmade macrame bottle holders and I got those from Etsy and they're really really cute it just ties in with the whole kind of boho theme that I've got going on out here um, and they, they're beautiful and they house our spirits and um, yeah and then either side of the bar I've just got some artificial flowers all the flowers up here are artificial just because it just meant it was less gardening we wanted a low maintenance garden so it's not too bad kind of watering the plant beds but in here I had a, I've got a lot of plants hanging up so I just wanted to make my life easier so they're all artificial um, and also they're just gonna keep all year round and they last for years because I don't actually think I think the heat can sometimes affect them and the sun but because we've got a roof from the pergola I think that's gonna help but yeah we'll see um, but yeah, that is the that's the bar area, guys. Also, the top of the bar. So on top of the bar at the moment, we've got the floor tiles. So we actually had some spare left over, and our builder put them on, and he was like, "Oh, what do you think about this?" And I was like, "Oh my god, that is such a cool idea. I love it." So we actually ended up putting the some spare floor tiles on top of the bar and creating like kind of a bit of a worktop. And then I'll be able to cut a timber frame around the edge. And then I've actually got a bespoke piece of glass on order coming soon. And we're going to put glass on the top just to protect it. And that it's just really easy to wipe and clean. Um, so yeah, that is the bar area. We've got two swings. And um, yeah, I got them online. I think they were like £100 each. I don't know if they do them anymore. I was really lucky to find them because I couldn't really find any kind of macrame ones. Um, but they're really beautiful. And they've attached to like a really kind of thick timber frame up the top um yeah that is the bar area guys let's move on to the sofa area so guys i've moved over to my corner sofa now to the chill out seating area um a corner sofa is something that me and robin had always wanted in this new house uh, however sadly we just couldn't quite fit one in in the living room or any of the other rooms in the house really um yeah it was sad but i mean we thought do you know what when we get a corner sofa we're gonna get one in the garden and yeah i found this beautiful corner sofa online i will pop a link below to where i got it from because i can't remember the name it's just a random garden website i found because i literally searched high and low for a kind of bamboo rattan style corner sofa hello baby okay and um, all of the rattan kind of garden fence that, that I could find as a corner sofa was those like boxy ones that kind of are in segments and you push them together. And it wasn't really the vibe that I was going for. Um, I wanted something, I don't know, I just wanted something a little bit different. And then I stumbled across this and I was like, oh my God, it's perfect. And yeah, I only saw like a couple of shops that did it and it was on pre-order. So I got my order in and luckily it arrived just as soon as the garden was finished. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. I love it and you can sit about five people on it and it came with the seat pads and the matching cream cushions Only like four or five of them and then I bought some more cushions. I bought some cushions from Etsy um, and I bought some cushions from Asda and Yeah, and I just think it looks really really nice and again sticking with the pink black and white theme And also like a bit of a boho kind of holiday vibe theme going on out here um, yeah, really love it. I think it really, really works with the space. And then in front of me, I kind of put a nice little coffee table. So you might recognize it from the coffee table at the bottom of the garden. Um, that is the same one. So it's from made.com and they did it in a different colorway. And I thought, perfect. That is literally going to match the vibe that I'm going for in the pergola. So I ordered that. And then I got this amazing rattan bamboo, like, throne it's literally like a throne it's a giant chair everyone absolutely loves it when they come round. that is the that is the seat that that's like the best seat in the house that is the seat that everyone goes to it's super cozy i've got like a faux fur pink rug on there i've got a really beautiful boho cushion from etsy and um, yeah it's just really really lovely and then behind me i hung up lots of kind of artificial flowers in little baskets kind of create like hanging hanging baskets and I got some of those macrame uh, plant holders I got some from Amazon and Ikea 
and I hung them all in a line. I'll show you my inspiration image from where I've got the idea from. I think it was just a really, really cool idea, and I like the fact they were all hung like across the back wall. Got some beautiful bamboo mirrors, which I thought were a nice little touch. So look, I kind of tried to work with a lot of like bamboo and rattan textures in the pergola. And also macrame as well was another kind of texture that I really, really liked. And I just wanted to weave into the whole room. And then, yeah, the greenery with the artificial plants. And then with plant pots, I kind of focused on pink, gold, rattan -y kind of woven textures again. Um, got some really nice plant pots actually. They're from a range of different places like made.com, uh, B&Q, um, HomeSense. We've just kind of collected a few over the time. Um, also, also some really, really beautiful kind of um, candle holders. They're like outdoorsy ones. So they're from Dunelm. I really like those. And I've got those in like a nice wood effect and black. Um, yeah. I just really love it and underneath the coffee table we've got a rug I just wanted to break up the floor tiles because it's quite a repetitive um, print and even though it's a beautiful print I just wanted to break it up so I've got this beautiful kind of nude rug from Benuta again so it's this kind of special kind of plastic it's not plastic but it's kind of like this special fiber that dries really quickly and it's really easy to clean and it's perfect for outside so yeah i mean it is a pain in the butt because when my dogs run on it they leave their paw prints but it's super easy to clean so it's not too bad um yeah and then the floor tiles so the floor tiles um god where are they from i think it's tiles direct but don't quote me on that i will pop a link below they were called like british ceramic tile or something um, so they're ceramic which you can have outside so if you are looking for outdoor tiles go for ceramic they're fine for outside they're super easy to clean so I've got a steam mop so I bring up my hoover my steam mop and I clean up here and yeah the tiles look beautiful afterwards um, and yeah I just wanted a floor tile that was patterned I'll show you my inspiration image um, I just loved the vibe that this person had I don't know who created it I found this picture on Instagram and Pinterest and I've never known whose who's house or garden it is um, but I just love the fact that they had these amazing pattern tiles on the floor and then the black pergola I just really liked it and I kind of wanted to stick with the kind of Victorian theme of the house hence why they're kind of this like British Victorian kind of vibe of a tile uh, but the pink is beautiful it literally matches the pink in the kitchen so well um, and yeah, we've continued the um, black, pink and white theme from the kitchen outside. So yeah, another thing as well about this space is we sit here and we watch movies. So I bought a um, projector screen from Amazon. It was £60. I actually think that's really affordable. And we've got a, um, a projector stand and we've also got a projector. So I went for an Epson projector, I'll pop a link below. It is amazing. It's better in the evening when it gets a bit darker. So from like seven onwards um, in summer. In winter, we'll be able to use it from like four o'clock because it gets so dark then. Um, but yeah, we just pulled the screen down in the pergola and we've got the electricity plugs sockets kind of next to the seating area and we just put our projector up and fire netflix onto the projector we put tv series on we watch films and yeah we've got a popcorn maker which we keep in the garage to get out when guests come around we've got pick and mix sweets we've got all the drinks all the snacks for a great movie night so yeah that was another thing i really wanted in this space was somewhere where we could watch films um i've seen so many people set up little mini cinemas in their garden and it just looks really cute and it just feels like you're doing a bit of an activity which is so nice now because obviously we can't really go out and about like we normally would with coronavirus so it's just nice that we can really utilize the space and you know do more things at home um yeah and then the roof so don't think i mentioned the roof so I love the fact that pergolas obviously don't have a roof. Um, I really wanted to, you know, look up and see the sky. However, in the UK it rains a lot and I didn't want to have a space where I had to, every day it was sunny, come outside, decorate, then take it all down. I just wanted to leave it all up. So we got a clear plastic roof on top of the pergola and then we've got a gutter put on the front of it and we've got a water butt out the back down this little alleyway that we've got which is behind a gate. It's just an extra storage space, super handy. And um, yeah, we can just pop little garden bits down there. Like we've got some old paint down there from the fence and bits and bobs and the water butts out there because it's not really a great eye-catching thing in the garden. So we've kept that out there. And that's great as well because that collects the water and we can water the plants with it. Um, but yeah, so the roof, yeah, we just kept clear. 
and I'm so glad we did. It does feel like a bit of a sauna slash conservatory sunroom in the day, uh, but obviously that is in summer. In winter, it's going to be super nice. You can come out here. We're going to get some heaters, and uh, we can use the space in winter as well. And then, yeah, lighting. So I haven't mentioned lighting yet. You probably saw that there was some lighting along the fence. So inside the house, when we got the kitchen extension done, we had a light switch put in for outdoor lights and we can finally use it now. So when we go into the kitchen, before we come into the garden, we can just flick the switch and it turns on all of the garden lights, which is so beautiful. And it lights up the whole garden and even in the pergola. Me and Robin spent hours putting them up. Um, we got them from Amazon, just festoon lighting um, that you can have outside all year round. And yeah, it's really beautiful and it's really weird, but it reminds me of like Love Island or something. The garden looks amazing at night. I will pop in some little video clips and photos. And um, yeah, I love it. I love. I just, I just love it. I just love the space. It's really, really beautiful. Uh, we've kept the garage door so we can go in and out of the garage from within the pergola. And we also kept the garage window. And I just got this beautiful kind of Victorian window sticker film from B&Q, just so you don't look into the garage because the garage is super messy. Um, yeah, and that's the space really. I mean, we got there in the end. It was meant to just take, I think, two weeks to do the garden, but it ended up being about four or five. Just because of the weather, it was really, really hot and our builder just was struggling in the heat. Um, and just, it just took a little bit longer than we anticipated, but it got done. I finally decorated, I finally got my outdoor space and it's just so nice to come out here and relax. It feels like you're on holiday. Um, it's nice for, you know, movie nights, to have our friends over when we have them round. Um, everyone's loved coming and chilling out here and yeah I really really love it and yeah I think we've really utilised the space and it's just insane seeing what the garden looked like before to what it looks like now um, yeah I really really hope you guys have enjoyed this video I really hope you love the garden as much as I do and um, I've popped all links below to everything that you need to know all the products that I've mentioned and um yeah, any questions, please pop them below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I've put more photos on my blog and more on my Instagram if you want to see more pictures or, or more information. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in another video very, very soon. Peace out.